next item your worship is a recommendation that council deny with regret the request to install a rainbow crosswalk in accordance with policy directive j11 move staff recommendations councillor not second Councillor western discussion councillor not thank you your worship um you know, after receiving dozens and dozens of letters on this um, on this subject, I took the time to sort of write up my feelings on it because uh, that way I can stay on track. So uh, it is up to our federal government to set the laws to protect the rights and freedoms of all Canadians. Uh, the LGBTQ community and all Canadians are protected under the Canadian Charter. If there are gaps in that it is the responsibility of your MP to speak for you in Parliament. When it comes to painting rainbow, a rainbow on a crosswalk or baby feet, crosses, anti-immigration or anything else, it becomes a political statement. It also becomes a target for vandalism and a canvas for intolerance and hate. You cannot change attitudes by painting crosswalks. If you're looking for a more inclusive community, it starts with neighbours. Uh, get to know your neighbors, listen to one another, invite the, the new immigrant, the gay couple, the lonely senior, or the marginalized to join you. Openness, empathy, and respect starts in the heart of every citizen, and it begins with each of us. I do not support putting a rainbow crosswalk because we are elected and funded by all citizens of this community. They are not paying us to make political statements. I've always taken the responsibility of spending taxpayer dollars extremely seriously and this is not an appropriate use of taxpayers dollars thank you anybody else so thanks your worship um my thoughts are echo that as well um a concern that i have as well is that i think uh, sidewalks are a safety feature and <laughs> to, um, <laughs> to, deviate, to deviate from the the uniformity of that, um, I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. And I'm also concerned a little bit because a lot of time was spent over the last few weeks dealing with emails from various uh, segments of the community, either for or against. And far from uh, being a unifying factor, I thought it was maybe a little bit of a divisive factor. And I think um, for this, for the benefit of the community, it's not necessarily a, a good thing. So that's my opinion. Shields, Mercer. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I, I too echo um, Councillor Nott's thoughts on, on on the issue before us today. And in, in addition, um, you, you know, I'm not sure where this would start, where it would stop if it started. And uh, it's not dozens of emails; it's hundreds of emails that we've received. I know there's not a day that I don't log on that I have. Uh, 15, 20, sometimes 30. I had at least that on, on Saturday morning alone that all spoke against it. Um, you know, like count, uh, Councillor Wessler, I think it is a very divisive uh, issue, obviously. Uh, but for me, it's where would it end? And I noticed um, um, we got one application or, or one email that the line was a, a, a pro life uh, crosswalk. And I think that's just the, the first of of many that we're going to receive and I don't think the City Council for me is in the business of decorating our crosswalks. Uh, I don't think it's uh, our business to be political on the issue and I agree with Council, Councillor Knott and Councillor Western in their comments. Thank you Council Mercer, Council Shields. Thank you Your Worship. Um, actually I think uh, Councillor Western made a good point where he said that you know, this has become an issue but it really has become more divisive within the community than than, um, than inclusive as 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 the, the applicants were were trying to achieve here. Um, I I don't our our job as a city and why we we're elected was to run the city to the best of our ability to bring our city together. And I just by the the feedback we've been getting in the last you know, month probably. Um, this is not really bringing our city together. I don't think it would be in our best interest to, to, to start a precedent here where we're, we're 
putting in sidewalks for various groups that's just going to divide the city. And I don't think we need to, to start that. So I'm, uh, I'm not in favor of changing uh, the current guidelines. And Councilor Lum? Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I didn't write down what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, Councilor Nod did, so I might ramble a little bit here. But um, it looks like, you know, in, in, today there won't be support to change this, uh, this policy directive. But a couple of questions that I would have is, um, you know, throughout this whole experience, I, I do agree with Council that it's, um, by no fault of the applicants and the petitioners, um, it's turned very divisive. I've received multiple, multiple emails, um, some of them borderlining on hate and intolerance and ignorance, and, um, and some of them fear, and um, what, it's, what it's done is it, it's made me, um, it's made me disheartened by uh, the community that we, that we live in, but it's also identified that um, we, we have a long, long way to go to understand tolerance and to understand um, each other here in the community. And if it were up to me today, I would, I would revise the policy directive. I would identify, I don't know, pick a random number, four crosswalks in the city. I would refer the item to the public art committee because I think crosswalk decoration is public art. Um, and I would, I would open the application up to uh, people in the city who were interested in applying to decorate those crosswalks. I'd provide some guidelines and, uh, and I would look to have those communities work together to build consensus around cross, because I've heard crosswalks are rainbows, and I understand that the, the rainbow has become a, uh, a symbol and um, a politically charged one at that. Um, but just as the same as I was reminded in multiple emails, again, the rainbow means different things for different people, and uh, art is in the eye of the beholder. Um, when I look at a rainbow, I think about my grandpa just passed away in April and the day after there was the most beautiful rainbow I'd ever seen crossing the sky. So if I crossed a crosswalk painted like a rainbow, I wouldn't be thinking about um, uh, any other political ideology or, or somebody's uh, aversion to those uh, ideas or support of those ideas, I'd be thinking about my grandpa. So I, I think it's... Um, Art means different things to different people. I've heard multiple times and being remote, reminded multiple times that if we did this for one group, we'd have to do it for a whole bunch of other groups. And be that, be that as it may, if those groups can uh, make a com as compelling a case as the petitioners have to me, then it deserves to come before council and we deserve to, to talk about it. I've also been reminded by um, multiple people um, of, of a few different faith groups that the the importance of the the rainbow and that I would be excluding other people if I voted in favor of this it would be um, disparaging to other uh, religions and we should treat people all exactly the same and my comments back to them would be that I I'm not a particular member of any faith group but the last few meetings I voted in favor of permissive tax exemptions for Christian schools. I voted for development variance permits for a Buddhist temple. I voted for a lot of different things. So by supporting this and asking other people to support this, I think I would just be being consistent with uh, my past positions. But it doesn't look like it's got uh, support today. But I hope that what we get out of this is not a whole bunch of anger and uh, discontent amongst a bunch of people. And there's going to be a lot of people who are disappointed, but I hope that it just means we got more work to do and that we uh, put our heads down and see if we can't start to work to build consensus and support for tolerance in this community. Thank you.
Thank you, Councillor Lum. And, the, and there's been some 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 great conversations, some great thought processes, and 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 for me personally, um, I don't have a problem with them. Um, but for me, as the mayor, I I would have to take a stand back and 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 to look at the precedent that that could be set. Um, I did support it. I did sign it. Um, and uh, um, it just what we could possibly open the door to down the road and and uh, as as Councillor Lum says we we do have some work to do and and uh, um, this is is going to be talked about it for days on end I'm sure but um, I want Chilliwack to be you know you know like a happy town when everybody to get along understand everybody's uh, faith base uh, mm -hmm. sexual preference all those and uh, and work together so for right now, I am going to support staff's recommendations, but just just so folks know that I I don't have a problem with it at this point. So we're all talked out. I'm going to call the question. No, sorry, there's no there's no questions. This is not a public hearing. So um, it should be. Men get bullied, okay. fucking beaten, and fucking raped. Hey, hey, hey! Hang on, everybody. So you hang on here and deny me this. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's. Uh, Fuck you all. Hey. And I'm protesting your business, Ken. Perfect. You go nice ahead, sir. That's all right. Okay. I'll call the question. All those in favor? It, uh, staff's recommendations opposed. The motion carried. Next item, please. Next is a recommendation that business improvement area bylaw number four seven four two 